Chat chat everyone. This is Jeff Smith with When Geeks Collide. Uh, well, that was more of a Star Wars Anakin reference, but we're not doing Star Wars today. Today we're talking about one of my favorite things, AEW, and that's the figures. And uh, this is Series 3. Uh, Pac and Riho are also part of this series. So uh, we're gonna, I'm going to host the unboxing for this episode. We're going to do two of these. Of course, the uh, Young Bucks, two of my favorites. Matt Jackson, probably my absolute favorite uh, in the AEW roster. So we're going to do Darby Allen, current TNT champion of AEW. This figure, I gotta tell you, for between C series one uh, the quality's really stepped up. You can tell right away in the articulation. But uh, I'm looking forward to opening Darby. And he even comes with a skateboard, but we'll get into that in a bit. And then by request, uh, also opening for the video, Orange Cassidy, hugely popular AEW uh, star, talent, wrestler and uh, one of the biggest merch sellers for the company in 2020. They've done a, f a fantastic job, even his signature uh, hand in the pocket, which will be interesting to look at once the figure is open. So those are the two that we're going to be doing in the video. Uh, I'm not going to be uh, recording the actual opening of the package, you've already seen it. So yeah, and uh, I've got a second Matt Jackson coming, so I'd, otherwise I'd open the box too. But, uh, all right, let's get started. Just a quick note on the Bucks. Uh, now, Matt Jackson might be my favorite. I will say, uh, I know this is his shouting face, but it's not exactly the best. Uh, facial sculpt-wise, even from what I've seen pictures, this is probably the uh, worst one of the wave and doesn't really do Nat, Matt Jackson justice. Sorry for the reflection there. But if we get over here to Nick, then you will be able to see that they have really killed it. I mean, and, and you're going to see on Darby and Orange later, but uh, Nick Jackson, the detail there is really good. So uh, props on that for the Nick Jackson articulation. On the back of the package, uh, it's the traditional uh, photo of the talent with their autograph. And then based on the appearance, so this one is from June 29th, 2019 Fighter Fest in Daytona Beach, Florida for Darby. And uh, I love that because I think that's pretty cool that they've actually listed events that it's from. And then uh, like Series 1 and 2, they do show the entire... A wave on the back, which I love. Uh, it bugs me when toy lines don't do this anymore. Uh, or they just give uh, product number codes rather than the names, which never makes much sense. I mean, if you're just getting into a series, you really want to know the names of everybody. So at least with wrestling toys, they uh, do this. And, uh, you know, they're always hard to get. So it's nice to have a little reference point there, especially if you're store searching, at least in the States. Um, okay, uh, starting at the top. So the packaging here, again, we have this uh, kind of foil uh, overlay on the print job. Uh, stamping, I believe, foil stamping is the term. And then we go right through. It's packaged in there. So there's just one more look at Darby before we open them up. Closer shot of Orange Cassidy in the packaging. And this Orange Cassidy is based on the June 24th, 2020 uh, AEW Dynamite Edition. Uh, of course, I, I mean, Orange pretty much wears everything, so I guess uh, the shot itself, the photograph, is also from that day. So here you can see Darby just out of the uh, box and very secure in there, good packaging. 
skateboard so I think it's secured in a way that you're not really I don't think you have to wor really worry about the wheels or anything being broken when you get the toy man that detail is just just fantastic absolutely fantastic he's probably the best in the wave I really believe that okay so Darby's open first of all on the skateboard awesome he just goes right along there uh, as far as the ligaments are concerned the ligaments the joints are concerned but let's start with the accessories and here we are he's got his signature jacket now this is that newer style where the rubber is all pre-molded um, similar to the WWE Elite collection and you can see the clothing it's it's all intact so it's not uh, it's not loose or it doesn't come apart and it wears it and there's not a lot of articulation with the clothing on so we're gonna go ahead and remove that jacket there in a bit the uh, necklace of course is loose we can show that better when we get there but there's just a good example good solid example of that face and we see the paint job very a very good uh, paint application as you can see there uh, especially the point where you can even see the words I mean they're they're not screwing around here uh, again these are from uh, Jazzwares and Wicked Cool Toys and you even see the real good detail there uh, they do have the foot stamp of course so you can keep track of the year and just a bunch of different uh, different designs and they're printed right onto there so that's pretty good okay. so I'll just show you here I'm always a little bit nervous when it comes to taking these off now with the other figures I know sometimes you can take off their hand but this is what I want to show here is that uh, the AEW figures they do have this plastic it's a very thin plastic just your basic plastic insert uh, no adhesive or anything that is there and that does help I found just take it off so uh, Kenny Omega came with that in series one let's see uh, yeah so this sleeve has it as well I mean why wouldn't it so there you go and uh, these come on on and off very easily so you can just rip them right off well, a bit I can cut it in fact I'd probably prefer to cut it uh, because it does attach around the wrist but uh, so now here's something interesting remember I said about you could remove the hands uh, so I was taking the plastic off and I was cutting it and I was just pulling it off now the hand came off the hand came off Darby so that's pretty interesting but it came out very easy so I do not suspect at all that it's broken in fact you can see right there okay so we're back and the hand easily goes right back in so I would almost recommend if you don't have scissors or even if you do take the hand right off anyway um, Okay, now look at that. That's actually... How's this hand? Okay, so that is... Alright, that's something to note there. That's quite loose, so maybe you're not supposed to pop the hand off. I don't think anything's actually... Doesn't look that way? Hmm... Interesting. Now, as far as movement goes, we see that the hand... Okay, that is really loose. I may want to actually glue that a bit. All right, so... But the rest of the toy feels like a complete quality. I mean, you've even got the midway app piece there. And then again, with articulation, goes right around. Uh, ankle joints also right there. And... Hold that, it does twist. So, uh, again, that's with, uh, well, let's see, 
Okay, so there's that joint again all around. Uh, I'm trying to see if this point right here, uh, it should go. Again, that's uh, something with warm water. See, that's really good there. Uh, very flexible, especially for a kind of a deluxe uh, wrestling figure. You want that capability. And a full, uh, well, it's a left and right, but there's no, like, very, very little. But I think that's all you need. I mean, he can look up a bit. There, again, is a necklace that just kind of hangs there. And all the joints, right? So he can even hold that if he wants to. Uh, you know? Or if he had longer hair, uh, stroke his hair back. But uh, useless. So there we go. That, all joints there. As you can see, and that that all flexes easily. So everything, everything flexes easily. I'm bugged about this hand though, but there we go. So, and then he can come in, can take a skateboard. Oh yeah, one thing about the hand though. Speaking of the hand, is you can see it right there that it does have even the finger tattoos with the word free. Uh, so again, great attention to detail there. And yeah, you can hold a skateboard. Gonna smash it and the whole works. So all in all, very good figure there. Especially because Darby, like he wants to do a lot of, you know, flips and twists and power bombs and all that stuff. So there we are. I love this. I'm very excited. I mean, they're already sold out at ringside, so hopefully you were able to get yours uh, because they are very, very great, very great figure. Like, oh, almost doing a Shawn Michaels box pose there. But, again, paint application. Relentless, right in the back, even the hairstyle. There's no uh, a smooth gradient. There's no real paint uh, marks or sloppiness in the application. So that is great. I mean, even on the eyes, fantastic. Really fantastic. So we're, we'll see here how Orange Cassidy, as far as the wrist joints go, and the uh, pegs. Uh, meant, forgot to mention about Darby and the plastic. Uh, you know, a little bit of work getting out, but you don't want them to fall out too easy. At the same time, especially when it comes around, uh, like popping out the shoulders and the head, I always get nervous about loose joints, similar to what we saw in the hand. But uh, it comes with uh, three different hand accessories here, depending on how you want to pose them. And uh, then let's see how the joints move now. This is interesting because he actually has soft goods as opposed to the molded plastic. So no, this is not a character from the old late 80s uh, Cops animated series or Robocop. Um, what they did here, we were showing the plastic earlier, so for the sunglasses, they actually put the plastic on. So we'll just remove the sunglasses for a moment and that will give you a better look and it just slides right off so very very easy and then that way you can put sunglasses back on them and they hold fine for that sake now you see here uh, the pants are flexible it's, uh, it's a looser and thinner uh, molded uh, plastic than the uh, say the jacket of Derby and then his hand can go in and out. So that's pretty cool. Again, a signature Orange Cassidy t-shirt. Uh, all soft goods here, so uh, that does make it easy to pose. You can see he can take his hand out. And uh, he twists and turns. And uh, again, there's no uh, swivel joints here or here. So we do have the, the entire pants, at least the upper portion, are the molded plastic. Uh, down here we get the more traditional 
action figure style. Again, joints go right around, as do yeah both legs and feet. Uh, you know, I noticed on Darby as well the uh, foot feet. Here, how does this one do? Okay, this one's got the side swivel, um, and so does this one to a degree. Darby's, unless it just wasn't going, uh, it, this leg didn't seem to have it. So, all in all, again, uh, ribs here are looser. We can see, I mean, it's much like the other figure, so if you put the shirt up here, you can see uh, the ab crunch, and it's exactly built like the Darby figure. Uh, so that's great there. No need to take the soft goods off. And um, as far as changing hands go, so let's see, we pop out a joint here. Again, that's a little tough. That that worries me. Uh, only because of what we saw with the uh, Derby figure. But you know what? The wrists are also thinner as well. So yeah, that's fine. That goes in good, and there is also the, the pocket style there. So, see, so they can go right in. Uh, the finger is, st is sticking, but yeah, it can go right in there. Not to say, like, if people could have a lot of fun with this one and say, like, oh, playing pocket pool, but no. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, there we go. So, Orange Cassidy, right? Well, it came out, but you get the point. Sound like uh, Frazier there. Oh, this is a pretty good figure, you know, and I love the creativity from Jazzwear as far as these shorts go. Just to give you a closer look, you'll see that they do have the uh, parts there, and it's molded, so it's not like it's just cut. Uh, there is like a rim, uh, so that makes it easier for the hands to go in. If you do want to take the jacket off, I mean, he does wrestle without it. So uh, it's Velcro, actually, which is pretty interesting. You can see right there uh, with the Velcro. And then, so, oh, it's just come off there. So you don't have to worry about the whole shirt. It easily just unvelcros, and then he can wrestle without the shirt and jacket. But uh, I'm going to keep it like this just for now. But uh, there you go, guys. So that's uh, Orange Cassidy. And uh, pretty cool. I mean, even to the, the running shoes there, if that shows. Yeah, very cool figure. Uh, probably one of one of the best. Again, like I said earlier, they are getting better. Um, at Darby and Orange Cassidy probably being the strongest of the wave. So there you have it. Uh, the unboxing of Jazzwares Wicked Cool Toys All Elite Wrestling. Um, series 3 in the Unrivaled collection. Very cool indeed. Also, for those interested, Orange Cassidy is number 21 and Darby is number 22 in the series. Uh, Bucks, I believe, 23 and 24. So, uh, all in all, I mean, outside of that hand there, which is still loose with Darby, and again, that could have been me in that moment. Uh, like five out of five on both of these figures the articulation uh, truly some of the best wrestling toys out there i mean i love it uh i've fully given myself you know over to aew and uh, I, I just absolutely love it it's really brought my love back to uh wrestling you know even being involved in it just makes it makes it fun and uh these toys are absolute fantastic additions to any collection. I mean, look at that skateboard. You can even see there it says about Darby Allen with the paint. So uh, that's the review. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, you know, hit up Ringside, see what you can get. Series 4 is on sale right now, and I mean, they're already up to multiple pre-orders and a few uh, early sellouts. And I So that's definitely while well supplies last there. And uh, keep watching Dynamite. And most importantly, subscribe to this YouTube channel um, because Steve is doing uh, great contests and giveaways. And you don't want to miss out. And 2021 is just starting. So, I mean, I didn't expect to be doing an unboxing video. But here I am, uh, you know, with the newest wrestling toys that I love. The AEW toys. Alright, later everybody. And 
enjoy the channel and be sure to follow uh, at WGC Network on Twitter. Instagram is When Geeks Collide. Of course, myself, KDAB Jeff on Twitter and Instagram. SunsetCrypt.com gives you all your information uh, right there. But for stuff like figure reviews, that's uh, exclusive to the YouTube pretty much outside of the odd When Geeks Collide episode. Uh, so enjoy. And thanks for checking it out.